fixated onto something, uh, I suppose. That's what I do, oh. at least. Anyways, guys, De going definitely. on to the next game, Emo Lloyd up against WebJP. Yeah, WebJP is certainly a familiar name to those of us in the tri-state region, but I mean, when they when an offline comes back, it's not like they were doing bad, you know, when it came to uh, when it came to mm -hmm. live events anyway. Oh, now not they're... at all. Definitely like the tri-state Lucas at the moment, but right now really focusing on Zugasuit. We've heard from WebJP like they're not like too confident uh, working on the Lucas anymore. Yeah, well, interesting, but also I can definitely see why looking for that uh. Looking for the Juice Smash 4 special. I saw that yeah. a little bit. <laughs> Just a series of up airs into the, into the boost kick. Sorry, if you got the kill, I would have said rocket kick. Don't worry about it, WebJP. I got you back there. But nevertheless, it's going to be a back air from Emo Lord and piling on this damage. And Emo Lord obviously going to want a little bit more space than perhaps Smashville can provide. Not doing too poorly at the moment. I'm just not sure if this is sustainable. I, I don't know if this is super conducive to success unless Emo Lord knows something about this or if you know something about this, Dara, that I simply do not. They both just, I think they both just play really patiently around each other. Neither of them have a particularly good feel uh, quite yet of how the other moves. Emo Lord is playing super safely. I really like the way that they're using charge shot off stage. However, when you do commit to projectiles like that, WebJP can get a call out. WebJP can try to get a call out with flip kick. And speaking of call outs with flip kick, Emo Lord over committing to the charging of the smash attack and then just ends up dying for it. So when it when it comes to ledge trap and Ziggler suit, you gotta call out flip kick and you gotta just be careful not to commit to two laggy options. Yeah, emo Lord right now just kind of uh Oh, oh yeah. Kind no. of what? <laughs> kind of what, Stu? Yeah, look, man, I'm not. I cut myself off. That's my own fault. But the charge shot, Emo Lord, just uh, finally getting that stock. But at what cost? Well, Dara, the cost is pretty evident at this point, isn't it? It's 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 WebJP just moving around the stage so efficiently, doing what he does best, just making the most out of like those wave bounces and beauty versus um, up smash. Gonna be punished. Emo Lord tries to go for like a jab mix up there. Uh, sometimes you can do like jab pivot grab back or um, you know jab into charge shot if you catch the opponent's next option. Like the idea, but it is to some extent a guess on what your opponent does. WebJP is so in form right now. You're talking about someone who just last juice box took down so many big names. I'll read the list off later because I'm going to miss some action if I do. Emo Lord looking for that grab. And WebJP knows how badly a tether can be punished if it misses. This is a Lucas main, Dara. We know. But <laughs> Emo Lord finally wins that stage control. It's going to be crucial for them to maximize it if they can get it. The charge shot straight to the back. 94% WebJP is not through the uh is not through the thick of it just yet emo lord winning the uh, neutral interaction just a little bit more often but now look how often web jp is just quickly stealing back center stage for themselves using flip kick emo lord just has to be ready for it and try to get like one really good call out as soon as you get that one really good call out you can kill web jp for it so um right now emo lord just trying to do everything they can with these ledge mix-ups an excellent idea really mixing up web jp's timing and finds his way back onto the stage and just Ooh. like that baby 111 percent one misstep and he's dead but this is this is doable yeah emo lord actually doing a lot to make this happen especially against web jp a charge shot to the face is gonna be the start the back air to get them off the stage, oh, but when you it. have flip kick, oh my goodness, what do you do about it? You watch your stock get taken by the boost kick. All the DI in the world couldn't save Emo Lord, or indeed other worlds, as Zero Suit Samus. Know yourself, know your enemy. WebJP goes up 1-0. The biggest thing is uh, whenever you're fighting against a zero suit and you let you know you ledge guard and you ledge trap and whatever, you always just have to be aware of the fact that zero suit can get back onto center stage whenever she does so. Please, so a lot of the stocks that Emo Lord lost, or rather two out of three of those, right, the first and the last stock, um, were exclusively because of the fact that WebJP was able to flip kick back on. You gotta sit and shield a little bit sometimes. You gotta try to bait it out by going for a quick option, immediately shielding, and then maybe trying to get like a dash back uh, punish. You could also try to call it out at the apex, um, with uh, the zenith of the flip kick itself. But, you know, over committing at the ledge like that, WebJP just took advantage of it.
I mean, WebJP, this is an individual, as I mentioned prior in game number one, Dara, fourth place at the last juice box out of 512 entrants, beating people like Mutates, Bluxious, Kia Rash, Wadi, Louie Money, all in one tournament. This is the quality that WebJP is starting to expect from themselves. They're not the underdog really anymore, though it should be mentioned. They did lose to one opponent two times in that tournament. That one opponent could very well be an opponent here today. That was sharp, of course, on that wolf. As we go to game number two, WebJP, perhaps a bigger goal in mind, Emo Lord could well just be in the way. Emo Lord uh -huh. going to try to establish on center stage and yeah, connecting pretty consistently with that back air. It's giving them quite a bit of space, perhaps more so than the projectiles are at the moment, Dara. <laughs> that was a really funny interaction. WebJP just ends up grabbing behind and times it exactly with the same moment with Emo Lord. It's there. Um, Ooh, interesting little bit of tether movement there. Not sure if Emo Lord was entirely intending uh, to do that. Still slowly trying to find a way back on. Love that Zill. Um, WebJP was definitely not expecting it. Just a quick little poke saying, hey, buddy, back off. I want to get back onto the stage. Emo Lord certainly has a little bit of uh, some pretty good company for the, uh, for the Samus play. The Samus from San Antonio, Texas. So down here in the Lone Star State, I mean, they know how to play them some Metroid characters, apparently. I mean, at least that's what, uh, that's what Trella, that's the vibe that they give me. But, nevertheless, still trying to work through it. And WebJP has been, uh, taking the driver's seat for this one, though not nearly as Ooh. decisively as Emo Lord is going to take that with the charge shot. That's never a good feeling getting hit by that thing. Both of, them, both of them just took like five seconds to completely whiff each other's moves on one another. Uh, that's just like a sign that both of them like still don't have like a really good idea of how they mix up their movement. Really like the way that Emo Lloyd is just using down B to move around really ambiguously. You know, WebJP making the most out of all that air speed as well. But I feel like they're just doing a really good job of just like avoiding or trading with each other. Uh, right now, Emo Lloyd controlling the stage right now really well. But that, oh, that laser is so big for WebJP because it quickly took the momentum back for themselves. Oh, emo Lord. This uh, relatively it's young kid, I mean, WebJP knows uh, not exactly a senior citizen themselves, but yeah, it just goes to show how bright the future is for uh, Smash in general. I mean, it's Emo Lord yet to reach their 16th birthday. WebJP is, uh, well, maybe just a little more uh, seasoned a player, at least in the Jersey scene. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, what they've been able to uh, do against Emo Lord so far is, again, very effective Samus player. Gotta say, it's nothing short of impressive, and doing it with a character that they really have only uh, started to pick up in uh, over the past six months. I mean, this is the... This is the product of practice and Emo Lord, though they have a lot to be proud of, maybe just a little bit too high oh of a hill God. to climb against Web what an edge guide. JP. Two stock victory on Kalos and a 2-0 victory for the Jersey ZSS. Such good tracking from Web JP. Just able to quickly clean that suck up. I noticed something that happened uh in the second stock for some reason from Emo Lord at the start with the last stock. Um for whatever reason, they started really pressing a lot of buttons. They were so antsy when it came to calling out jumps from WebJP. Um, started to lose a bit of patience, it seemed towards the end. Um, mm. You know, started whiffing a lot. WebJP was just waiting for a lot of those to find his opening in. Um, so I don't really know what happened to Emo Lord's game plan, uh, but something at some point deteriorated and we just started seeing a lot of buttons, a lot of defensive options, and really early ones um, started to come out. And you know I'm... what? WebJP waited. She just waited. I will say, it wasn't that... I think that Emo Lord saw that they were getting quite a lot of value just off of, okay, well, I get in behind them, they're committing a little early, and then I back air them. That gives me that that gives me stage control. Maybe that was uh maybe that was part of it, but uh just uh that was Web JP. Maybe recognizing that, maybe just kind of falling into a game plan that really worked for them. Either way, they wound up earning a two-stock victory 
on Kalos mm-hmm. and moving on, 